Time to put the Triple Crown format to bed in Monster Energy Supercross, and I'm about to go do the same myself after a long day in a blizzard here in Minneapolis for round 14 of the championship. Luckily, the snow that was coming in sideways due to the wind outside didn't affect the racing because there's a dome on U.S. Bank Stadium, but that doesn't mean the picture was clear. As we've seen with all of these Triple Crown races, you better be good at math if you want to figure out who's going to win. Of course, this review brought to you by Troy Lee Designs. Again, five or six guys were contenders battling for podiums and maybe even having a shot at the overall in the 450 Supercross class that included Eli Tomac, Jason Anderson, Marvin Muskan. No surprise there. Justin Brayton was back up in the hunt this weekend. Justin Barsha was back racing and finished third in the first race. Even Weston Pike was in the mix for a little while. And Blake Baggett had a good start in one of the races also and was running up front for a brief time. So that's a lot of riders contending. Now, Tomac won the first race fairly easily. And meanwhile, Marvin Muskan had a terrible first race. Started well, went backwards uncharacteristically for him, and then later crashed and finished seventh. But then in the second race, Muskan went forward, basically passing the same riders in race two that passed him in race three. Why? He said they took some risks with the bike settings in the first race, and it didn't work. Once Muskan had the bike figured out for race two, he was the best rider there. But there was also some battling between Brayton and Anderson, and Anderson admitted that he got a little bit too crazy, went off the track, almost crashed, lost some positions. That cost Anderson deal dearly because he came back to win race number three, but it wasn't enough to get the overall. So Anderson with the tough race in race two, Muskan with the tough race in race one. The most leveled through it all was Tomac, who got the first race victory and was consistent in races two and three to win the overall. And I didn't even know this. There was a season-long Triple Crown champion. Tomac won two of the three Triple Crown events. So he's a Triple Crown champion. They gave him a trophy, but it didn't have three crowns on it. It had a cup. I don't know. Uh, they handed out more hardware here. Ryan Dungey finally got his 2017 Monster Energy Supercross Championship ring. They wanted to wait and do that in front of the home crowd. They love their Ryan Dungey here. They were pumped to celebrate with him. And then as a nice bonus, Jeremy Martin came out and won the always wild 250 class. That's two straight victories for J-Mart. One now in front of the home state folks. And boy, were they loud. He said even with earplugs and even over his motorcycle, he could hear the people cheering. This one was hard earned. Austin Forkner won the first race, but then crashed probably six times in races two and three combined. That really is going to hurt Forkner. He finished 10th overall for the night. That hurts him in the points. Zach Osborne started badly in race one, and he struggled too, man. Finished fourth and pretty far back in race one, but bounced back to win race two. Race three, Martin and Osborne were able to get around Jordan Smith, who was also battling for the overall. So it came down to Martin versus Osborne to win the race, and Martin was able to hold them off and get a very popular race win. He still has some ground to make up in the standings due to some early uh, struggles in the races and because of a points penalty at his last win in Indy. So things are looking good for Osborne on the championship front. If you're Osborne and Anderson, the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna teammates, you're just happy to get through these triple crowns without any major problems in races that are designed to create chaos. And if you want any other drama, just go outside because the blizzard was absolutely nuts. And uh, that's why I had to retreat to my hotel and get out of the stadium. And uh, it's bedtime for me. Rise and shine time for you. Hope you enjoyed the races. See you next week in Foxborough.